right, everybody. Kelly here, Central Florida's real estate ninja and your special secret agent. Today, we're going to talk about some news that just came down the pike that will affect and impact home purchasers, home buyers going into next year. So you're going to want to pay special attention to this one because we just got some news that can impact the buying process going into next year. And I think you're going to want to hear this. So as always, hit the subscribe button, smash that like, and you will be notified when I drop videos like this, especially if you're looking for information in the Central Florida area. I live in Claremont. This channel is all about Claremont and really the surrounding areas like Leesburg, Davenport, Winter Garden, Orlando, Disney World, Kissimmee, all of these areas that are within striking distance, this channel is about. But we concentrate on Claremont, Florida, which in my opinion, whoo, you got to come check it out, guys. You have to come and check out Claremont. It's amazing, right? So enough about that. Let's get into the news that we just saw recently that's going to impact you if you're buying a home. Now, let's talk, before we share this news, the state of affairs currently. Right now, interest rates are hovering between 7 and 7.5%, 7 which is high uh, based off of our experience from two years ago. And we're going to get into two years ago in a minute because it's going to bring relevancy to what I think is going to happen late next year. Um, and I'm going to make an argument, guys, so hang with me. I'm going to make an argument as to why you might, based on this news, factor purchasing a home. If you're wanting to buy a home but you've been waiting I want to make an argument to why, after looking at this news, waiting might be a little trepidatious for you. There might be some um, ripples in the current, guys, and you need to be aware of what's going on so that you can make the best decision financially for you and your family. And understand, I'm a realtor. I'm not a financial uh, planner. I'm not an accountant. I'm not a, 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 an attorney. So check with all sources before you make any decisions. But it's good to know the information we're going to share here because it can impact, I feel, some of the decisions that you guys are going to make. Now, let's talk about two years ago. Two years ago, interest rates were like 2.5 to 2.75%. Houses every single month were going up in value, like too much. And it caused, in my opinion, a hyperinflation of housing prices which caused people buying them, even though they were getting lower interest rates, they were buying them overpriced. And I think we've seen people that bought when it was extremely overpriced trying to sell now, and they're just they're just having a, a, a hard time doing it because they're wanting more than what the housing market says it's worth now. Granted, houses historically always gain value. We were seeing crazy values. Guys, we were seeing we were seeing our buyers going and looking at homes that were $450,000, $500,000. And they were getting, these sellers were getting 15 to 20 offers in a 20, like a house hit the market on a Monday. By Friday, it, it was off the market. And that house was 500K. By the time it was done, they were getting offers 575, 600 cash, no contingencies. And what we found was a lot of our California and New York, New Jersey, Vermont, all of the people that were up north and over to the west they were, they were leaving. Like people were literally leaving California to come to Texas and Florida. And because the house values in those states were to the moon, they were selling and having massive amounts of cash to come into Florida and literally pay cash where a lot of our buyers here locally are financing and they were getting beat. So two years ago, it was a crazy scene, hyperinflated, interest rates were low, people were buying lots of houses and guys, Today, it's totally flipped. Interest rates are higher, which is keeping the buyer market down. So we don't have as much buyers in play. But what we do have is we have inventory, right? Where before we didn't have the inventory because homes were going like that. Now we have inventory. And, you know, a buyer before interest rates went to the moon, a buyer could be at 3.5% qualified for a $600,000 mortgage. Well, that same buyer today might only qualify for a $470,000 mortgage based on their income and the interest rates, which is going to affect their debt to income. I hope this all makes sense. Don't want to get too crazy, crazy here. But I just want to make a correlation between two years ago and today because I think when I share with you in just a minute what the Fed is getting ready to do, or at least what they're saying, it's going to create a semi-similar circumstance. 
So if you're looking to buy a home, it might be time to start getting in play. So let me share this article with you and let's talk about the implications. So guys, you can you can research um, Fed's uh, uh, dropping interest rates potentially in 2024. You're going to see articles from Bloomberg, CNBC, major publications. I happened to grab this one because it was kind of easy to read. But what they're saying is that there's a potential for a recession to hit the U.S. in 2024, which is not good. So get ready for massive interest rate cuts. So the Fed thought they control could control recession or actually inflation. Let me get my terms right. They said they could control inflation by raising interest rates. It didn't work. And if there's a recession, that always means prices come down. Prices come down, people start to get back in the market. Now, depending on the flavor of that recession, we're not talking the Great Recession back in the 30s. I'm just talking about a, uh, a, a strategic recession that hits because of factors that are in play. It could cause a scenario where home prices start to stagnate, interest rates come down, and now you've got buyers jumping in. So guys, what they're saying, according to the UBS, is that the Fed will slash interest rates. And I'm going to take that word will and say might, right? I hate that word will because that's future. That's prophesying. But there is an inclination that this is going to happen. And if they slash interest rates by an eye-popping 275 basis points, it's going to fundamentally change the housing market. And here's what's going to happen. For those of you that want to know what 275 basis points, a simple search means that you could see an interest rate deduction, reduction, a current reduction, whatever the interest rates are, once they do this, if they go to 275, whether it's a timed or it's a one time, I don't know, that's equivalent to two and a half to 2.75% reduction in interest. So let's just say the interest rates are 7% now. We could be seeing interest rates in the fives or below fives, say 4.75, potential. Now, I'm not saying this as a fact. I'm saying as a potential going into Q2, Q3 of 2024. What does that mean? Now, let me make an argument now for why I think it might be a good time for you guys to look at a home. Now, I am not one of those agents that tries to convince a homeowner, a family to buy a home because, well, you know, even though the interest rates are high, you can always uh, refinance in the future. Yes, that's a valid argument, but it's still an argument of, you know, the agent trying to convince somebody to do something that they're scared to do, whether it's good advice or bad. I don't like to do that. It's just, I feel like I'm manipulating, right? Yes, if the interest rates go down. Yes, it, I get it. I also know there's that other part of me that knows that when you rent, that's 100%. That's like 100% interest rate, right? But I understand why buyers are doing it. Because right now, to get a home, it can be expensive monthly. But guys, I want, you to, I, want, I want you to see why I think buying now might be in your best interest. And, and hang with me on this. If you buy today, and let's say the interest rates are 7%, yes, your monthly payment's going to be high. But let's say March, April, May, June of next year, we start to see the base points come down. Let's say by, by end of summer next year, it's the full 275 points. You could refinance, drop your mortgage payment, your current home that you're in, drop it because you're once you buy a home, it's your home, right? You're secure. You don't have to go and fight and compete with other buyers to rebuy the home. You own it. All you can do is save money by refinancing. And so let's say in this scenario, it happened, okay? In this scenario, we got the 275 basis points. You can go refinance, drop your current, let's say you're at 7%, drop it to 5%, maybe 4.75, whatever. Save a ton of money. And now you're locked into that new interest rate, which is more affordable. And classically, anything in the high fours, even five or below, is still, if you take over an 80-year uh, span, it's classically low. I think 2.5 and 2.7 that we had two years ago was just a once-in-a-lifetime scenario that happened. I don't know that we're going to see that again. But if you can get it into the fours, high fours, you're, you've got a deal, right? But here's what's going to happen if you don't. If you decide to wait until they're 4.75 or 5%. Now you're competing with a complete crush of buyers now ready to swoop in because interest rates are low. And you know what's going to happen? You're now going to be 
bidding on homes like we did two years ago, which is going to drive the sales price up. So you find a home that's 500K for you and your family when interest rates are 4.75 to 5, and you're going to have five other buyers bidding on that same home. And all of those agents are smart and they're going to start increasing the offers. So now you're losing money because let's say that $500,000 home that you really want because the interest rates cost you 530. You might have to bring more money to the table. You're going to be paying heavier fees on the additional monies that you're going to have to, to, to bring to the table or finance. And so now you're looking at a scenario where prices and bids are going to go through the roof. And here's the other thing. If you wait too long, once this shift potentially happens, here's what's going to happen. We're going to start to see house prices go up incrementally heavier because it's all based on demand. So if you got a lot of buyers, they're like, oh, I got to take advantage of this interest rate. Not only are the bids, or you're going to be bidding, now, you're going to be in bidding wars, but you're also going to be buying prices that are significantly higher than they would be today. So let me show you one other, one other instance of what I'm talking about. And let me pull this up. So let's talk about buyer purchasing power, right? And based on a $450,000 home, and I want you to see this scenario. Right now, at 7%, it's roughly $3,000, okay? Now, this only goes down to 6%, but if I had a graph down to 4.75, this number would be significantly lower. And guys, can you imagine if a buyer says 3000 a month is too much, but if I can get it down to about 2100 to 2200 I'm in. Can you imagine the crush uh, of buyers, the actual amount of buyers stampeding? You ever been to a store like a Black Friday event and they've got a, you know, they've got 20 TVs that are 80 inch plasma, whatever. And normally they're 2,900 bucks, but they're only 1,500 Black Friday, but you got to be there at 12 o'clock or four in the morning. And you get there and you think you're early and now there's like 500 people in line. And so you guys are all vying for that same TV, but there's like 20 only. And when the door opens, you run in and everybody's running crazy to find where those TVs are. And when they find it, it literally becomes a feeding frenzy, like a bunch of piranhas, just rah, 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 right? Right. And then you, you've seen videos of people actually fighting, like right? bam, boo, pow, right? People are just actually going at one another to get these deals. Well, that's kind of the scenario that I think could potentially happen. So let's wrap all this up and talk about sound financial uh, options and decisions. So one of the things that we do when we work with a buyer, a family, is we, we take some time to find out what it is you're wanting. And then we put a plan in place to be able to get you what you want and mitigate or help you not shed the finances to get that dream, right? We're going to negotiate. We're going to help you find these homes. We're even going to give our buyers access to homes that maybe don't have a lot of competition because a lot of agents don't know these homes exist. But the big caveat, and this is something I'm very proud with, the real estate ninja gives 25% of his buyers. So if I make $10,000 in a commission, $2,500, I give 25% of that to my families to help them pay down their closing costs. Guys, in the last three, not in the last three months, we've given away off of our sales almost $25,000 to $30,000 back to our families. I've got several closings coming up where we're going to be giving back even more money to the families that we represent. So make sure, guys, if you, if you are thinking of jumping into purchasing, if you're relocating from out of state, or better yet, if you've got a home that you need to sell and you're buying another home and you're within 50 miles of Claremont, Florida, you definitely want to get on my calendar because my program has you potentially hiring me as close to free as possible, right? Imagine working with an agent and selling your home and putting more of that profit back in your pocket. Well, we have a program if you're selling your home to buy another one, that we guarantee and make sure that you, when you close on your existing home, that you get to keep more of your profit, not give it away to your agents. And guys, I can't wait, if that's your scenario, to share with you how we do that. Um, and with our, with our buyer rebate, commission rebate program, guys, it's the perfect scenario if you're buying a home. And the other thing is we also work with a lot of local builders. So if you're looking to buy new construction, we can plug you into some of the best local builders. Guys, just the other day, I had a builder call me because I had a buyer that was looking at this particular model. It was ready to sell now. And the builder said they were giving $80,000 back 
to whoever buys it to take off the price of the home uh, because they had upgraded it and did a lot of things. And I was blown away. Lastly, I'm going to be dropping a video on here as early as this weekend. There are builders offering interest rates as low as 3.99 right now. So all of the stuff we've talked about today in terms of what the Fed is doing, we've got a builder that has a three-year program, 3.99, second year 4.99, third year 5.99. Guys, unbelievable program. So if that's you, look below. I'll give you my link for my calendar. We can do a Zoom. You'll have my phone number and my email. Whatever works for you, reach out to me. Let me know what you guys are looking for in this area. And then from that conversation, we can start to strategize about what the perfect home for you and your family would look like. Just in the last seven days, I've had three families from out of state reach out to me. I love every one of you guys. Uh, and I will do my, my utmost and my best to make sure that you guys are served in a way that you deserve, in a way that will help and benefit you and your family. All right, guys, what do you think about this video? You need to keep your eye on the pulse of what's going on. I think big changes are coming around the bend, guys. Be aware. Make sure you subscribe and hit the channel because you want to be aware of what's going on in our economy, in the housing market, especially if you're looking to make that type of a move. All right, guys, Kelly, your real estate ninja, thank you. And until I see you on the next video, be safe, be happy. And get your dreams, guys. All right, that's it. I love every one of you, and I will see you on the next video.